G'day everyone, this is International Master Robert Jamison from Melbourne, Australia. Now I don't know whether you've ever tried to teach little kids how to play chess, but it's not easy. I've been trying for 55 years and I'm, I'm at the end of my tether, I'm just about to give up. Last weekend we had the National Interschool Championship, some of my best kids were playing in it. And I'll show you three positions from uh, the tournament in a minute. But first, I want to tell you about a little psychological study they did once. They got a two-year-old kid, sat him at a table, put a lolly on the table, and the tester said, Sonny, if you want, you can eat that lolly, or I'm coming back in five minutes, and if you haven't eaten a lolly, I'll give you another one. So you'll have two lollies. So the two-year-old kid sitting there, what do you think he does? He looks at the lolly, he wants the lolly, grabs it and eats it. Fair enough. They did the same test with a four-year-old kid. Okay, what happens? The four-year-old kid is a bit smarter. He looks at the lolly, thinks, I want that lolly. But he thinks, hang on, two lollies is better than one. If I wait five minutes, I'll get two lollies. So he waits. The bloke comes back, gives him the extra lolly, lives happily ever after with his two lollies. He's learned how to reason and to look around and not just act on impulse. If only my students were like that. Let's have a look at these positions and I'll show you what I mean. So position one. Uh, this is my student playing white. We'll say his name's Magnus, and he's going pretty well. He's won the other bloke's queen, and it's his move, and he's got heaps of time. Look, he's got four minutes and eight seconds to find a good move. Now, were it me, I would probably go out, get myself a cup of coffee, come back, have a couple of sips, look around, and I might find a pretty good move. In fact, there are two pretty good moves. Can you see them? Hope you can. One is rook takes rook mate, and the other one is queen takes rook mate. He's got two mates in one. What does Magnus do? In 2.5 seconds, he plays knight takes pawn. Now, it's an okay move, but you've missed mate in one. Fortunately, it didn't matter because he ended up mating him like this anyway. Still won the game, but gee whiz, you can't see mate in one. Not real good. Never mind. Let's have a look at the next one. All right, uh, this is my guy playing black. We'll call him Vichy. He's a young guy, about 13, a pretty good player. And he's going great here. He's got a knight and three pass pawns supported by a king. It's his go. What does he do? He does a pretty good move. Rook A1 check. Looks pretty good. The guy plays king up. And what happens? What, what would you play? He's got three minutes, 45 seconds on the clock, by the way. So he thinks for 4.3 seconds and plays a pretty good move. He takes the rook. He's won a whole rook. Isn't that fantastic? There's only one teensy-weensy little problem. It's stalemate. Oh. Now, if he had have gone and got a cup of coffee, had a couple of sips like me, have a look around like the four-year-old, maybe, just maybe, he might have seen pawn to b3 checkmate. A slightly better move. Anyway. They're only young, what can you expect? Next one, here we go. This is my student playing white. Let's call him Bobby. He's a piece up for nothing. His other guy's moved, but the other guy's not threatening anything. So Bobby's just a piece up and looking great. So the other guy makes a threatening move, pawn to c5, threatening two knights. What's Bobby gonna do? Both his knights are under attack. So he thinks for one minute and 12 seconds, that's a pretty long time in a 10 minute game, and he plays knight c2. Now, were it me, I would have used my one minute and 12 seconds to remember the on pass sont rule. This guy's about 15 or 16 or something. All he has to do, on pass on the pawn, his knights aren't under attack, he's won another pawn, it's easy. Does he think of that? No, he goes back. Loses his knight. He's still a pawn up with a nice position, but half a dozen moves later, he gets his king and queen forward. Loses the game. So what am I to do? I don't know. All my students are playing like two-year-olds instead of four-year-olds. I hope yours are doing better than that if you're a chess coach. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed those positions, and I'll see you all in the next video.